I never get tired of this view. Claire, you're going to have a great time here this summer, I think. It'll be good to get away from the city. Take a break from everything else going on. Could use a break. It's a it's a bank holiday weekend, actually, for anyone who has Monday off. Enjoy this weekend. You've got three days. Are you still awake? Yeah. Maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. Taking a boat. A humble original. I didn't know this was a humble game. Bloody hell. Slam the door on me. I'm a penguin or a bird. I'm actually a bird, I think. So I want to see what this graphics is. Can I do it in here? So you can have big and crunchy, which I think is how it's meant to be. But you can have it... Do you know what? I might have it look like this. Like, that look is cute, right? And it's like, ooh, retro, stylish. But honestly, like, do we... I think I prefer the other one. Why do I want it to look like I'm on a Game Boy, you know? Sorry, I know it's meant to be, like, appreciated in that way. There you go. I'll go with the middle ground. That's just a bit easier on the eyes, I think. Right? Anyway. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you all day. Been busy? Kinda. Well, not really. Just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. Yeah, I guess. But that's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek before. You might even say it's just a short hike away. I figured you would have gone already. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to go, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Today is as good a day as any. Just take White Beach Trail, head north at the fork. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Fork you. Um, Haven Park. Yeah, Haven Park took a lot of inspiration from this, I think. Haven Park was essentially... That developer was inspired by this, and it was a game that they made uh, during all the lockdowns and stuff to... Uh, as a sort of thing to do. Which was a lovely game. And I thought since we did that one and enjoyed it, it would be... We would be remiss not to uh, check this one out. Wow, that is just instantly Animal Crossing feels, isn't it? Those fish shadows. Transported back. Found a shell. Uh. Oh, I can glide. But I've heard this one is great. Claire, did you know you can hold A while running to glide through the air? No. Oh, everyone knows that. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. <gasps> a waterfall. Bonus points already. Hello. Find me 15 showers. What? Why? I want him. But why? Secret. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Keep both eyes out. A stick. There's another one. Oh, I can move the ca <laughs> My head moves with it too. That's I like that. Honestly, I'm glad it has those graphic settings, because I feel like this looks much better. Music. Ranger's Cabin, White Coast Trail. Can I go in here? Secrets. You found a coin. It's okay, I can swim. This feels like I'm in an Animal Crossing Villager's dream. Is what this feels like. But 
Where did uh, where did that person go? There you are. Hey Claire, how's the day treating you? Well, just getting out of the house now. One of those kinds of days. Yeah. I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. Mm. Would you say you feel lost and directionless? Uh, maybe. Well, I got just the thing for you. Take this. A compass to use it. Uh, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking. Do you know what? A really quality compass would actually be such a cute gift, wouldn't it? If someone was feeling kind of lost in their life and you gave them, like, a really sweet compass. Not for using, but hey, just like a sort of, here, have this on your shelf. To remember. Be cute. No. Hey, dude. What's happening? Oh, you know. Just jamming out on the beach. Building sandcastles and whatnot. Sounds like a good time. You know it. Can I borrow your shovel? Sorry, bud. I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. One's made for sandcastles. What? Sounds fake. But if you can show me one, I'll be glad to trade. That's fake news, man. Small shovels? What are you talking about? You're lying to me. That's what Big News wants you to believe. Big shovel, you know. But I'm boom, compass pocket watch style. I have like a really old pocket watch actually. It doesn't work anymore, but it's like super duper old. It is what it is. Like, this had to be slightly inspired by Animal Crossing, right? All these villages like this, all these different animals. This just looks just like that one that we see all the time on villager hunts, tank or something. Um, thank you, Anonymous Chira, for 250 biddies. Which was, uh, like my granddad's, and I feel like he had it, like, in the war and stuff. It's like this, uh, old one, but never, never even worked, even when he gave it to me, but it's still nice to have. Hey there. What are you up to today? Uh, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike. You know, You'll need to learn to rock climb to make it to the top. Why not join our rock climbing club? Oh, uh, is it just the two of you? Oh, the Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing, pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Um, I meant if it's just the two of you, like, here. What of it? Listen, kid. Climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Um, it's not really that bad. So anyway, you want to join the Climbers Club? Sure. Great. But our third member. Not third. Just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway, first things first. You got a golden feather? Not yet. Oh. You can't climb without one. Buy them at the visitor center. Should be cheap. Come back when you bought one. Cute. Love this already. Du -du -du. Wait, isn't it? Up here. I thought there was another way. That's where I came over. And then did I not go down here? I see a shell here. Down here. Bum -bum -bum -bum. Well... With the ball. Beach ball. Man, that game that you can play, that they sell like the rackets for with like a bouncy ball. You guys ever do that? It's like beach ping pong. It's so fun. Like with a little bouncy ball. And it comes with like two sort of ping pong paddles. I don't know if it's called something else, but beach tennis? Whenever I would go to Spain, there would always be this group of people that would always, like, rock up every night. And they would set up a volleyball net, like, right in front of uh, where I stay. And I would just watch people play volleyball. Like, on the beach. I'm like, man, what a, like, a cool thing. Like, that's something the sort of European and beach sort of uh, 
societies, towns, always have going for them. This, like, outside community feel of, instead of, Oh, I'll meet you down the pub! Or wherever, just to hang out. Like, oh, let's play volleyball on the beach every day. Like, what? So cool. I heard some rumors. Do you like rumors? Uh, I dabble. Okay, hear me out. Jim just bought a metal detector. He was running around yesterday, looking for stuff around the island. It was going nuts, so. Seems like there's stuff buried all over the island. What kind of stuff? Dunno. Metal stuff. <laughs> oh wait, I can hit my stick. What's this for? But they just, there was always, there would always be groups hanging out on the beach and not in a way of, you know, during the day people come and tan and hang out. It was just, it was the meeting place, you know, much like me and my friends would hang out at the library, not in the library, but outside, you know, or like the local common, the park. Um, they hang out at the beach. You'd see like families there in the evenings and stuff. It's cool. Hawk Peak Provincial Park. Enjoy a scenic trek to Outlook Point or follow Hawk Peak Trail up to the highest point in the province. Although this island is known for its titular mountain peak, excuse me, it's also home to a number of beautiful beaches and forests. Did you know? The infamous local dish, strawberries and toast, was invented here at Hawk. Strawberries on toast. Please join us at 5 p.m. to enjoy a delicious serving. Oh, I clicked it again. Well. Howdy. How can I help you? I heard you sell golden feathers. Oh, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. I'll take it. Sure, that'll be 40 coins. Oh, wait. I don't have enough money. Yet. Da -da. Tetherball. Oh, that's the one where it's on rope, isn't it? And it's you got to whack it to the top. That's fun, too. You guys ever see play this one thing now where it was a tennis ball and you get like mitts that are velcro and you catch the ball on the on the velcro mitts you like throw it to each other what ever happened to that game i haven't seen that for like 20 years it's like easy mode frisbee but with a ball oh Frisbee's fun too, but unless you have like a group that are decent, it gets old quick just chasing after people's wayward throws. There's going to be a marathon race at Meteor Lake today. The competition this year is fierce. What is this? East Shade? East Shade Raccoon. Hey, what you painting? Oh, you can't tell. Um, it's supposed to be the coastline, though I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. Ah, I think I can see it now. Still a work in progress, but I don't know if I like where it's going. I think I'm going to head over to the Blackwood Forest Lighthouse soon. I'm still trying to find the right inspiration. Oh, I see a thing up there. I guess I need rock climbing to get that. Do 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 do. Shovel! Take it back. I have to say, this is very satisfying. The movement, the control in this, more so than I was expecting. Chill, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. When you want to use my shovel, press to open your inventory and equip it. Keep it fresh. I like the way when I run sometimes my head whips back like a Muppet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Shovel. There we go. I guess once I'm metal detecting as well, I'll use the shovel. But I see some stuff to dig up. Over here. Right? I can dig anywhere. A coin. Oh, now I can afford the feather. Nice.
I'm really hoping that we get to join the Metal Detector Club in Lake, because I've been playing Lake for YouTube, and we just met this guy with a Metal Detector, and he talks about a Metal Detector Club. And I just want that game to be a hobby sim. We've got photography. We've got a camera in there. It gives me a metal detector to roam around with. Like, that would actually be really cool. Just to walk around in the lake with a metal detector and find secrets. I wonder if it is going to be a thing. I've only played the first seven days, so I'll probably record the second half this weekend. Oh, let me buy a feather. Howdy. Feather. Let me explain how they work. If you press A while in midair, you can flap your wings for double jump, but that's not all. To climb a wall, push against it and hold A. The more golden feathers you have, the more you'll be able to climb and fly. Have fun. Oh. Nice. Do I have to pick my feather back up? Well. You leave them behind. Golden feather? Yeah. Great. Get started. Try climbing this short wall here. Nice one. Whatever. <laughs> that climbs easy. Real pros use the big wall. No! I don't have enough golden feathers yet. I wanted to rub his little squirrel face in it. i have to get another one. He's the dude from the actual show, Detectorists. The guy in Lake, like the voice, is that a real show? Oh, there's one. And missed it. Thought I, thought I was so smooth. I've got two. All right, let's show him. Chill music. Soundtrack's so chill. Yeah, I just, I just said that. It is. Are they back here? They were. So important. Uh, oh, nearly. Man, what is this? Ninja Warrior? That would be cool, to be like an indie composer, right? Ones that actually get work constantly. You're like, yeah, I just make wholesome tunes. Like, I wonder how well respected it is in development in terms of, like, hey, actually, the music's so important, let's make sure we use a good bit of the budget, right? For, like, the music, the composer. Or if it's, like, the rest of music stuff where it always comes last and they're like, oh, yeah, I've got, like, 300 quid left. Can you make me a whole soundtrack? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Can I go on this boat? It's exploring. Because I feel like it's such a big part of indies that I hope that they, uh, they get their due, you know? Hawk hmm. Peak. Hawk Peak Trail is a strenuous hike. You might need golden feathers to complete it. me some feathers. Mm -mm. Even modeled after him, Mackenzie Crook. Oh, it is Mackenzie Crook. Mackenzie Crook is the guy on the show Detectorists? Because instantly I thought that sounded like Mackenzie Crook, and I was like, what? why would he be in an indie game, though? But if it's from a show, that makes more sense. Okay, 
let's uh, go down here. Hmm. I was planning on hiking to Hawk Peak, but the path suddenly got really steep. Do you think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Obsessed with feathers in this place. And that's back to that beach, okay. I don't want to miss anything. And now, uh, what's up, Saren? Happy Friday. Taking shelter. Look at this little bun bun. Uh, hmm. Hi. Hi. Are you okay? Uh, not really. I'm supposed to run a marathon race today, but I've lost my lucky headband. I've worn it to every race I've ever won. I... I don't know if I could race without it. Where do you lose it? Somewhere in Blackwood Forest. I think... I could take a look for you. Really? You'd do that for me? Sure. Eh. It's a red headband. I can give you a reward. I can give you a pair of running shoes. Don't you need those? Well, I just got sponsored by a shoe company. They gave me like 10 pairs. Whoa. Congrats. Oh. Huh, thanks. But, uh, let me know if you see a red headband. By the way, you realize it's not a real sponsorship if they just give you, uh, you know, goods for services. You should probably ask to actually get paid. Just a little... Just sowing seeds. Just a little tip. It's more like affiliate marketing, if anything. Alright, I'm gonna go find your headband now. Wait. Red headband. Uh, weird question, but where'd you get that headband? Ninja Turtle? Uh, I don't know. I've had it for ages. Why? Oh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit, and she said she lost her headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe. I didn't get a name. She was really worried about it. She said it was lucky. She needs it. I'm supposed to race her later today. She's so talented. I've been really looking forward to it. Hmm. What if I gave you mine? Pretty sure it's the same kind. Maybe she wouldn't notice. But then it wouldn't be lucky. I don't know. Just take it. See if she wants it. Headband. What a nice turtle. Oh yeah, tortoise in the hair. I did not even clock that. Having a race. Nice catch. I found this. Hmm. That's not it. The sweat stains aren't in the right place. Ew. Where did you find this? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. They said you could have it. They're looking forward to the race and didn't want you to miss it. What? Really? Taylor the turtle? They're like the regional champion. This headband has to be like at least twice as lucky. Possibly even quadruple lucky. Okay, I'll take it. I'm so pumped. Take these running shoes. You can hold X to run with them. However, just keep in mind that running requires golden feathers. That's going to use me feathers too. No. There's the flash. Wow. <sighs> running shoes. Do you guys have a favorite pair of shoes? What's your favorite pair of shoes that you have, guys? If you have a specific pair. Wow, look at this. Gorgeous. Uh, Ruby Fenix, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a lovely stream. Let us know what you're up to. I wonder if I can climb up here. We sort of just started not too long ago a short hike. Checking this out. Oh, let me move my thing up here. I can't see my how long I've been on. There we go. No. There goes the turtle warming up. Some more coins. I wonder if I can jump to there, actually. Oh. Nailed it. And then this is glistening. But I probably need, like, a pick or something, right? Oh, I should probably see if there's more dialogue with that turtle. 
to say thank you. gave it to her. So she's back in the race? Yes. Awesome. I'm glad I could help. There we go. And I'm faster than you, regional champion. Working on your voice acting portfolio whilst live. That's cool. Thanks for the follow. Skate high vans. I love vans. So comfy. Converse are good. Crocs. Crocs are in. Let's go to... Oh, hey. Is this the same person? Hey, it's you again. Yep. Classic me again. So, what do you think about this so far? Well, this is really good. It's like, better than real life. <laughs> well, I don't think I can compete with real life, but I'm happy with it so far. I don't know if it'll fit into my exhibit, though. I'm trying to come up with something more interesting. I'm gonna follow one of the rivers up to its source. I have an idea for a painting from that perspective. Oh, what's this? Oh, nothing. Just some, just some dirt. I feel like there's definitely some secrets all around here. What river are you going to follow? Probably the one on the west side of the mountain. It's higher up. Like, just being polite, I didn't even mean to talk to them. <laughs> Trying to jump around. Oh, what river? Yes. Did we speak to this person? Oh, that's where we began. <gasps> that's cute that it shows you where you started. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I bet voice acting's so fun. I guess it's kind of like what we were doing constantly with Animal Crossing and stuff, but it'd be like double fun to like actually get a script and stuff. I hear it's like really hard work though. Probably shouldn't say that. Any voice actor is probably like, actually, it's very difficult. <laughs> they like sh they like striked at one point because it's the conditions aren't great. Uh, I hate leg day. I'm having a run. I am the fastest. I win. They're like, can you make, can you do 50 grunts for us? <laughs> we need 50 impact sounds. <laughs> How was your day, darling? Oh, you know, the usual. Okay, let me go back this way. I don't want to miss stuff. Oh, look, somebody sunbathing. Let's walk their sun. I'm so stoked to eat breakfast, but it's already the afternoon. Tomorrow's breakfast. It's the best meal of the day. Sometimes when I'm about to go to bed, I get so excited by the thought of it, I have trouble sleeping. Balls. It's over here. Your Animal Crossing videos are how I found you. Actually, partially what inspired me to start with the voice acting. I love all the voices you can do. Oh, that's cool. Well, I hope you have an amazing time. May your journey be filled with awesome experiences. Fishing. How's it going? Good. The fish are biting today. Cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I could show you if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. I'll lend you my spare rod. Casting your line's pretty easy. Just press B. Fishing. Is a game ever really complete if it doesn't have fishing? Oh my god, I actually just sit down and chill. So. Um. What do I do now? You wait. Oh. Okay. Fishing. I haven't been fishing in 
so long. So long. Thanks. Gotta go sort out a few things and have fun with the stream. Have a great rest of your night. And uh, thanks for the raid. Thanks for the story. Great to uh, always great to hear about people taking inspiration and stuff. It's wonderful. And Joan Division with a gift sub. Thank you so much for uh, the gift sub. Appreciate it. What's up, Pim here from the Road 96 stream? Cool. I had a great time with that game. Am I doing this right? Yep. There's a little fish. Didn't take it. Maybe I should cast it again. You know, find a better spot. This spot is good. I saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes. Oh, they even have like Animal Crossing. Blah, 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 blah. You just gotta wait. Patience is key. Hmm. Not my strong suit. Oh, look alive. A fish is nibbling. Should I pull it out? Not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. Now. Press B. Uh. What do I do now? Pull back. Tap B. <laughs> like this? You caught a fish. See? Easy as pie. I don't know if I'd say that. I suck at baking. I guess I mean easy as eating pie. I can get behind that. Eh, pie. Da -da -da. I uh, I exported the Animal Crossing villager hunts over to YouTube to like go up at some point from the hunt for Pietro. I had to cut like a whole chunk from when we played um, the Gladiators theme, and that just reminded me of it because it was the little skit with like, "Give me a pee, poo, pile," and I was so sad to have to cut it. I was like, "Man, it was like a good bit too." And even said after it, "Oh, I'm gonna have to like this is getting muted now," as if that's like, "Oh, it's so annoying how it'll claim a three-hour video for like 30 seconds of a song." So silly. Uh, uh, um, two more gift subs. Thank you very much, Joan. I appreciate it. It's very, very generous of you. Have I been here? Get some love and some hype in the chat. Thank you so much. Meteor Lake. Meteor. Mm-mm. Spreading some love before heading out. Have a great weekend, Joan. Thank you so much for those gift subs. The unsuccessful search for Pietro. One day. Still got the, uh, still got sh Wait, who did I move out? Norma. So we've still got Charlize to get rid of. Do that probably in September sometime. It's down here. See a chest. Oh. Secret little dig. Whole chest. Ooh, coins. Start climbing. I can see now what somebody commented on the Haven Park video saying um, they sort of preferred the feel of this game, and certainly running around and moving in this is a lot better than Haven Park. I did really enjoy Haven Park though. Hey, Ail, how's the hike treating you? Oh, um, it's been nice. It's really beautiful here. I know, right? The view from the top will be so good. You're going to Hawk Peak too? Oh, no. That's too intense for me. I'm just going to Outlet Point. Will I see you there? Maybe. Awesome. <laughs> going to bed now. Good night. Good night. Thanks for popping in. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Just want to say the 12 minutes video was so good. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
I'm glad people are, um, like, watching that. Because I know I didn't stream it and just did it for YouTube, so I'm glad people are still seeing it. Dun, 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 dun. I liked it a lot. I think I had a pretty good run with it. Things kind of uh, came together pretty nicely, didn't get too stuck. So it didn't take us too long. Another stick? <clears throat> Another stick, he said, his voice not cracking. I wonder if we can climb up here. I like recording stuff for YouTube. It's so different. I've talked about it before. It's just, it's really weirdly different to, uh, to being live. I feel like I find being live easier, which is, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be, but I can get up here. Recording, there's this overwhelming feeling of talking to myself. <laughs> shat, shat here in the dark, talking to myself. It's a lot more, feels a lot more natural to to be on and be hanging out with you guys whilst doing something. Well, and overshot. Okay, there we go. Saved it. Hi, my name's Avery. I'm on a quest to become a parkour racing master. Neat. You bet your bottom dollar it's neat. However, I'm trying to find someone to practice with, so any chance you want to go for a race? Okay. Fantastic. So, here's the rules. First one to touch the lighthouse door wins. Also, let's only use three golden feathers, because that's all I have. Sound good? Okay. You might want to find more feathers before trying this race. Let's do it anyway. Where is, where is the lighthouse? That's just where I was, wasn't it? Oh, God. Eee. What? That's why I need three. Meh. Take a shortcut. There they are. Hell yes. I can beat them. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I went... It was not a shortcut. It was not a shortcut. Keegan with the 22. Thank you so much for 22 months. With the Prime. With the Bezos Prime. I appreciate it. You're doing awesome. Happy Friday. I won. You put up a good race. That was really fun. Oh, I nearly forgot. I've got something for you. A walkie-talkie. If you ever get lost during a race, ring me up. We can start over. Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed that game. It was good. Where are we going to here? Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to jump. Training for the Olympics. Here we go. It's different, but fun. Like, I've enjoyed doing recordings there as well. It's nice to do both. It's also nice to sometimes think, oh, would this make a good YouTube video, or would this be a good live stream? It's like an interesting thing to think about. Hey, kid. You want to buy some golden feathers? Okay. Cool. It'll be a hundred coins, but that's more than twice as much as the visitor center. Go buy feathers from them, then. Maybe I will. 
you're gonna buy my friends a lot. I will. Smell you later. Some bird punk. So high up. It's really tempting to jump off. Glide down. Got a bucket. Now I got a bucket of water. The Helianthus disalantus rubber flower, Hawk Peak. This unique species blooms instantly in flash flooding conditions, inflating like a water balloon. Experience it for yourself with one of the buckets. Do not remove buckets. A bucket full of water seems heavy. I don't think I could fly or climb whilst carrying one, but I could probably still glide. Well. Oh! That's cute. <laughs> the climbing's kind of giving me Breath of the Wild feels, actually. So much climbing in that game. Ah. It's like I get too cold up there. Snowy. <sighs> I freeze up. Uh. Probably gotta have more, I guess. That's cool, though. Okay. Wait, how many feathers can I have? I probably need to buy even more from him. Which means I gotta collect some coins. I'll we'll find another way. There you are. Hmm, this painting isn't working. What? I like it. Thanks. This park's special to me, but I don't think I'm going to impress anyone with these. Hey, I'm impressed. I mean, like, leave an impression on anyone. I have to show people that I'm achieving something worthwhile. Like, academically? Hmm. I heard there's a graveyard in the shadow of the mountain. I'm going to try that next. Oh, oh. Oh. What? 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 Okay, I wonder where I should go then. I can climb here. Gotta get to the top. Getting over it. Wholesome edition. Try down here. Zigging and a zagging. You guys got any plans for the weekend? Oh, I didn't mean to take my bucket out. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to go see some friends tomorrow. The people whose uh, wedding I went to recently. So that should be nice. Have some cheese. Cheese in a chat. In the evening. I used to go around there every so often. Um, for like food and a catch-up. But I haven't been around there. Like since the world went weird, so should be nice. Get one of those cheeses that you put in the oven and then dunk bread in it, usually. <laughs> it's like it's the equivalent of a, like a, what is that, like a millennial dinner party? Cheese and bread, you know, it's fine. Right. Another feather, and I didn't have to pay for it. Nice. Uh, getting your new puppy. It's been all puppy all the time. Going crystal shopping. Cool, you like collect crystals. 
Oh wow. I've got a, a little first person look. I like how it does that with stuff in the distance. I feel like I could probably make it there. Right, right, right. But oh, like a fondue. Yeah, I guess it's like um, you get like, is it a wheel? Would they call it a wheel? I think it's like a brie or something. And you put it in the oven and then it like, you bash through the top and then it's all like melted inside. And she's like gluten free as well. So she always has some gluten free breads. And stuff. Oh, there's another feather there. <gasps> I see it. Or a camembert. Yeah, those are the two that come to my mind. I don't know which it is. It's like a very neutral cheese. It's not like a really smelly one. And I think camembert is quite, quite strong, isn't it? It's always like a, a neutral yellow one. I don't know. Her. Got it. Got my feather. I'm gonna go back up. Honeymoon, they did. They got a, um, like a van. Like a camper van, but like, not like a camper van, like a big one. Like, sort of like, I don't know what you call them, like a sort of 70s one, where it's all like the same shape along, right? Like a minivan. And, uh, they went around a bunch of different sites in, uh, in the UK and, like, drove up to Scotland and stuff and think they did Wales. I know they went to Scotland. Because all the the, uh, the tables were named after the places that they were going to go. Because when I went in and the seating plan, I was like, I wonder why what these names are. So I was like, is this where you're going? And they were like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's really cute. So people were like on the Edinburgh table and stuff. So I'll get the goss, you know. Pretty much one of the uh, coolest kind of honeymoons you could do, really, at the moment, isn't it? Ah, I want that chest. different campsites and stuff but it was the week where it pretty much did nothing but rain here so I feel like that would be I would like that I want to see if they bothered by it at all I guess oh, what's this more coinage Oh, you can bounce on those too, that's fun. And then I could water that, couldn't I? this 
Hey, Julie. Oh, how's the day going? Gonna play games all day. Sounds fun. Can I play? I wanna play beach volleyball. Hey, looks like you got the net set up. You two gonna play? Volleyball? Nah, we invented our own game. I think it's gonna be the next big thing. All right, Claire. I formally challenge you to a game of beach stick ball. Eh, that means you have to play. Yeah, you have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay, I'll play. Oh, so how do you play? Step over to the other side of the court and I'll teach you everything I know. Gonna do UK honeymoon, lots of amazing small towns. Use one town as a hub, bike to small towns around, take a train. When the world is an ending, it'd be cool. I had an Italian cruise honeymoon, all booked right before it hit. Oh no! Then it got cancelled, then the wedding. Hoping hell will come wet, high water, we'll actually get married next year. I wish you the best of luck with that. Hopefully you can still do that. I'm sure it's time will come. So, beach stick ball has three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie's the ref, so it's up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three, believe in yourself. That's the most important rule in life. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Ready, set, go. Well, this is fun. I'm a champion. Ah. Damn it. Did I lose? Nope, you can never lose. When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins. Except if you pop the ball, then I guess you lose. Otherwise, beach stick ball is purely co-op game. You mean co-op game? Yeah, co-op game. A <laughs> coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we get to 10 points, I'll give you a prize. Already got 10 points. Scores 12. Oh, well, I guess I owe you a prize. Take this. <gasps> a feather. Make it to 20, let's do it. I believe. Oh. Okay. Eh. Ow, hard to see. What do you think, Claire? Uh. Who do I agree with? Yeah, it counts. See? Fine. Nine points. Come on. We sports. <gasps> Come on, man. I thought we were working together here. What are you trying to knock it over me and in front of me for? Do you know how to rally things? Oh, what? <laughs> 19! We were so close! You never dropped the ball. True. We were one away. I guess follow the shadow. To me. I can't jump and do it. Maybe that's the secret. Looks cuter too. No! What are you doing, sir? 17. We have to get 20. just turns the most wholesome game ever into a challenge. Salty stream. What is this, Cuphead? Let's 
So glad my head feels better, man. Pain pills, you know? One of life's little miracles. It's that moment when you take them. Does anyone else find sometimes when they take a painkiller, it just doesn't always even work? You're like, please let this get rid of it. Sometimes if you have a headache, and you can even take pills, and then like like nothing happens, and you're like, damn. 31! Oh my god, just ramble. Why am I so much better at games when I'm not even paying attention? Holy moly, we hit 30? That's my new record. Uh, I've got to come up with a reward. I'm going to give you all the money in my pocket. That's a lot. I don't want to take all your money. It's okay. My family's rich. Oh, well, okay, I guess. Honestly, I never even thought 30 was possible. I want to give you one more thing. <gasps> a cap. Whoa, keep it. You can remember this moment forever. I'll try. Can I put it on? Wait, can I put the shoes on? Or do I already have them on? No, I can't. We did it. Three types of painkillers in the house, depending on the severity. Nice. I always have ibuprofen and paracetamol. And I'm like, hmm, does this feel inflamey or more painy? Let's see if we can buy another feather and then get further up. Whoa, another one. That would definitely be enough. Can't wait to travel again, though. I'm not even a big holiday or travel person, but... Do you know what I am a big person for? Doing things that I'm told I can't do anymore. <laughs> We can't do this. Well, now I want to do that. We didn't want to do it before, but now I do. How dare you tell me. When something's not available anymore. I'm like, wait, but I really wanted it. I made it. Which I feel like... I'm sure it already is, like, really busy. Um, but I think, you know, in the future future, like, people are going to go crazy for the old travel, aren't they? Wait, so that cooled me down, and then my feathers freeze when I'm out of the spa, I think. Like, it's a hot spa. There we go, like, now they're freezing up. And then I bet if I go by the fire... Ah! <gasps> a bar. A Morphe chill. Hold on there, young friend. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you seem a little unprepared. It's mighty cold up here for folks who aren't accustomed. I didn't expect it to get this cold. My feathers are freezing up. Orc Peaks unique in the province for geothermal activity. If you get too chilly, stop at one of the hot springs. That should give you back your strength. Okay, can I have a can of Coke? No. It's nearly Christmas. Expect to see that bear popping up all over the shop. Snow in games is always cute. Dun, 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 dun. Fire. Speaking of uh, cooked bird, there's a chicken shortage here. Which I noticed, my, um, the place where I get these amazing wings, this, like, local burger place, <clears throat> has not had those juicy, sumptuous wings on their menu for a really long time. And I was like, what is going on? And then I saw headlines that, uh, like, 40 Nando's, which is the sort of popular cheeky Nando's chicken place here, have closed. Because they just don't have the, uh the chicken to sell. 
stock shortages of the old chick chick. And it's been going on for months. I think like KFC and stuff's running out too. Which is, I always remember, it happened before, like a while ago, and there's this famous clip of they're doing like talking to people outside, you know. How do you feel about this KFC's closed? And this up, this like, <laughs> this like older lady goes, oh, it's terrible. I've had to go to Burger King. <laughs> it's like, it's bong, news at 10. Lady had to go to Burger King instead of KFC. It's awful. I'm having a nightmare. I come all the way out here and I've had to go to Burger King. Oh, little cabin. But all supply problems. Yeah, it's pretty um interesting to think if it's gonna, you know, change things for the long term and stuff. It's all to do with a lot of uh, workers going back to Europe and stuff. Like I said before, we lost something like, I think, two million people in London. Like, the population actually went down. People have gone home. The world be a-changing. Oh, I was so close. I've got to be quick. Is this warm? Oh, wait, what's this air? I bet if I... Hmm. Let me find a different way around. Ah, oh, wait, let me use this one. If I can make it. This is like extra chilly or something. Go. Yes. Hey, it's you again. We're almost at the top, but it looks like the bridge collapsed. There might be another way up. Or I could just go collect more golden feathers. Hmm. Music's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it is disappointing. I mean, I keep checking this place because their wings are so good and it's been months. And one time it went through and they called me. They were like, I don't know why that was on there that you could order those. They're like, we haven't got no chicken. <laughs> I've got to cancel it for you. I was like, all right. No chicken. Maybe if I ask this guy, he'll know something. Be safe out there. I'm the one who has the radio, has to radio your aunt if you get into trouble. Burr. Burr. Maybe get onto that one instead, actually. Might be an idea. Ah, if I bring some water here. With me bucket. I thought it said I couldn't jump, though. Maybe it just meant flying. I can jump. I don't know if I can double jump. means I can't get up there. <laughs> Wait, am I? 
if I, I wonder if I'm holding this, if I'm losing my feathers at all. If I then were to put the bucket away, I would still have all of them. Uh, yes! Sneaky! But now I can't. Damn, okay. Find another way then. Could have gone that way, maybe. Nothing warm here. Should have filled my bucket up. Oh, I could probably fill my bucket up and then drop down, actually. Rather than jump up. It's like a puzzle. Run, little guy, run! No! <laughs> Just cutting his wings up. He slides down. How did I do it first time? So easily. Stupid ice and snow. Give me your jacket, bear. It's in water. Much appreciate. Stay on this level this time and see where it ends up. Looks like it's a dead end, eh? <gasps> Go up here. <sighs> Get that glide on. Whoa! Nearly fell off the edge. Okay. is very satisfying. Like sometimes the feathers go faster than other times. Saren, have a great weekend. Up La Montagne. Up the Mont Blanc. So there, we need water. Of here. 
be able to get some to there at least, I think. I always thought LeBlanc was a weird second name. No offense to any LeBlancs in chat, but. Matt LeBlanc. I still haven't watched that Friends reunion. Even though I love Friends. I'll watch it sometime. Oh, wait. I forgot that I can't double jump. LeBlanc. Je suis LeBlanc. this. Oh, there's one there. I think. Let me go back. Eh? Oh! Oh my god. Nearly died. Okay. Nice. that back up. Did you guys have a favorite character in Friends? Or was everyone too young for Friends? Okay, and then I can use this to get some height. Let's see if there's another thing to water. What was the point of that flower? Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Phoebe. Two for Phoebe. Interesting. Is that a coin? Money. Originally, um, Chandler was definitely my favorite. Whoa! Man, got some speed there. You know, has a wise cracking clown of a child. Feels like there should be able to. I should be able to start a fire there, doesn't it? Oh, I wonder if that would let me get up there. Actually, with water. Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. Coin, coin, coin. And I could go buy more golden feathers, actually, couldn't I? I have money. Um, bucket. There we go. And then I always liked uh, Ross later. His uh, sort of when he slowly started to get weirder and weirder and lose his mind. It's like, yes. Hmm, I can't get up there. Why is this stumping me so much? Whoa, okie dokie, that's a way. Goodness. Looks like it's going down, down, down. I want to go up.
replenish. And hopefully... Oh. Make it up. Yay, it works. Nice. Oof. Phew. I... I did it. What a view. Peaceful. The only problem with views like that is there would probably be like 50 other people there taking selfies and making TikToks, you know. <laughs> and phones ringing. Oh my gosh, it's me. Cell phone reception. Oh yeah, I forgot that that was the whole point. Hello? Hi, Claire. Mom. So glad to hear from you. I've been waiting all day to hear from you. I've been worried. Ah, oh, honey. I told you I'd be fine. Yeah. But you always say that. And I always am. Anyway. How have you been? Well, I'm at the top of Hawk Peak right now. Oh. Wow. I love it up there. <laughs> Me and I used to go up every summer together. It's about time you made it up. Yeah, I know. You're so big now. My little girl's leaving the nest. You won't have any need for little old mum. But I do need you. I'll never not need you. When I heard about the surgery, how come you never told me this was a thing? I swear, if this game... I didn't want you to worry. But... I know you can get worked up about things. I could have been there for you. You're all done... You're all alone there now. Really, it was nothing. Everything was fine. Just glad you're okay. I love you, Mum. I love you too. Wait. Something's happening. Um. Was that the famous Hawk Peak updraft? Ah, uh, looks like it. You should catch a ride on it now. Before it fizzles out. I wanna. I'm kinda nervous. Claire, you can do it. I'll come visit you soon, okay? Also, don't forget to say hi to Aunt May for me. She's probably waiting for you back at the cottage. Bye. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Taking a ride? That was feelsy. I was just waiting for it to be like gut punch. Where? I don't know if I was supposed to go this far out. Imagine if you could fly. Yeah, I, w I wasn't happy with my jump, Mum. Let me do it again. I believe in you, darling. Thank you. Ah. Oh, me. Get my feathers. There you go. 
I thought it was the end, so I just let it like shoot me out off the island. I want to glide down and see the snow stuffs. Oh yeah, the gliding in the sky. I really need to get back into that and do the little prince stuff. I read the little prince again. I've still been reading it for the Patreon. That book is so feelsy. Like the end of these chapters that I read yesterday. Oh, like trying not to cry for a kid's book. It's just so, so beautifully written. And like, I don't know. It's stuff. Do you know what it is? And it's like, you can you can see how Pixar does what it does, where it's the whole stuff for kids, stuff for adults, and the stuff that hits the adults goes over the kids' heads, because they haven't had those experiences. And it's the same with reading a book like The Little Prince. You read it, and it wouldn't register with a kid, like the metaphors and symbolism of it all, but reading it as an adult, you're like, oh. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Down we go. Oh, there's 23 days left. I bet it's like not even mathematically long enough for me to complete stuff. So we make our way back to Aunt May. I like how I made an hour long game last like nearly two hours. Typical. Still got another game to come tonight. A new one. This a new one. Ed Sheeran style. Brand new. Gliding around in this reminds me of how fun it was to swing around in uh, the Spider-Man games on PS4. Could just spend time swinging and flying around. Such an enjoyable way to travel. Scene. I clicked on a thing. <laughs> Look, she's got the headband on. Do you really think it's luck? Well, I don't know. I've gotten this far. It's just me. Like, it's got to be luck. Maybe a little, but you're so fast. And you've trained so much. You got this because you're good. Ah. Yeah, I know. I think I've known all along, but I don't know. I get so nervous. Sometimes I wonder if this is all a fluke. But you're right. I don't need luck. Yeah, you can have the headband back. I'm gonna do this on my own. Oh. Good luck in the race. I agree with that sentiment. There are elements of luck in this world, but a lot of it really does come down to being ready. Opportunity knocks a plenty for plenty of people. It's just, do you take it? You know, that's not luck. That's you being prepared. That's you having put the work in or just having dumb belief in yourself and doing something. But luck is there. It's more a case of opening your eyes to opportunity. Hey, did you make it to the top? Yeah, it was really nice. I can see why you like it so much, though it wasn't exactly a short hike. I'm really tired. Ha, well, maybe that was a bit of an understatement. Only a bit. It's kind of been a busy day. Yeah? What have you been up to? Well, I learned how to fish. Did you now? Yeah. Bill lent me a fishing rod. Of course, it was Bill. I don't think I've ever seen him not fishing. Also, I don't mean to brag, but I think I became a beach stick ball world champion. What's beach stick ball? It's going to be the next big thing. It's like volleyball, but with a stick. I'd play that. Oh, I joined a rock climbing club. Very nice. That's good exercise. Is it a big club? Uh, it depends. Okay. 
Anywho. You hungry? I'm gonna break out the hot dogs. Well, kinda tired. I'm gonna go take a nap or something. Alright. Have a good one. Dude, I'm so scared what's gonna happen here because I know, like, we were in a car at the beginning. I feel like this is a dream. I'm scared. I think it'd be nice to take a break. Sleep. Alright, it's nap time. The end. Is it, is it really the end? Okay, phew. <laughs> I was like, I, I've been traumatized by all the indie games we've played recently. I was waiting for a kid to wake up in the car, but like, the call with the mum was not what it is. And maybe there's undertones of that anyway. Like this being kind of a fantasy or a dream, and you can put that on yourself, but I'm so glad that the game didn't do that to me. Um, just like every game we played recently has made me cry, so. Phew. A wholesome ending to a very wholesome game. That was super cute.